In the previous videos, we were able to create wireframe for our homepage, our about us section, pricing, and also contact us. And instead of features, replace this with log. And in this video, we'll be creating our wireframe for the blog section. From our mood board, let's see if we can find a, a blog section that we can use for our wireframe. Second landing page seems to have something that we're looking for, a blog section. Let's go back to our wireframe and first let's check if we already have a blog design kit that we can use from our assets. So if we go to wireframe kit and go to center content. Let's first start by copying the header alongside this. Alongside the subheading, back to our wireframe, Control C, Control V. And let's go back to assets. And we can just copy one of these and duplicate that across. So just select on either one this image holder looks a little large so try minimizing it Let's first detach the entrance. So this link should be there. Now while pressing on Alt, drag to your right. Yeah, make sure it is centered. And when, once we have everything, we go back to our mood board, we can see that they have a small log heading up top, a bigger heading, and a smaller subheading. So we can have something like this. And for the blog, we can get a text that has the same exact font. So on Alt while dragging down, we can have this converted to blog instead. And let's replace this text with something like stay updated. And for our subheading, we can have something alongside check out our let, let us news on education and stay informed. And lastly, we're just left with making some change to this text.
usually blogs tend to have the author's name as well as the author's image so we're just gonna do that now go to assets and under components you'll be able to find an avatar we can add the avatar remove this center content and minimize the size to something like 40 it looks a little smaller so let's go for 50 Let's now add text for the author's name. And let's get a rectangle. Let's also have a date to show the day that this blog was published. Let's adjust the color of our text by adjusting the percentage from hue saturation and brightness to something like 50 let's do the same for the author's name And now we can duplicate this across the other two blog elements highlight everything select press on alt and drag to your right line doesn't seem to be centered so let's adjust that We go to the mood board we can see that there's also we can see this components to showcase that we can switch between different pages or the blog section so we can recreate something similar by selecting on this circle and have it somewhere around 10 by 10 
and press on alt while dragging to your right Make sure this is centered. To showcase the exact page that we are in, we can highlight one of the pages by changing the colors to just signify that we are with this page. 